Hi, I'm Christina. And I'm Randy. Are you ready for an adventure? Come see our journey today at Descanso Garden. Located about 13 miles from downtown Los Angeles, we travel to Descanso Gardens in the town of La Cañada, Flint Ridge. The gardens have free parking. Please tell a friend about us and be sure to subscribe. We made a previous video of the gardens to show the flowers in the springtime about two years ago. And though we will show some of the vegetation and flowers, that's not what this video is about. This video is about a brand new garden railroad that they have installed in the gardens. This is the opening day for it and we couldn't wait to check it out. De Descanso, Conso, Descanso Gardens. Descanso Gardens in <laughs> La Quinata, Flint Ridge, California. Yeah. At the base of the Angeles, um, Angeles Forest. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. I, that's a new one on me, I don't know. It's a mix to the freeway. <laughs> Angeles Crest. Yeah. The gardens are open from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. seven days a week. General admission for adults is $15. Seniors and students, $11. Wait, what? Oh, oh, hair Yeah. Hey. Yeah, look at it. That's the one you sit on. Oh, this was where all the tulips were. This was where the garden area was. Before the new garden railroad, there was a hydroponic garden demonstration in this area. It's going to go right above. This is the opening morning for the new garden railroad. Look at how far this thing goes. Most people are familiar with the HO scale trains, but these are about three sizes larger and they are called a G gauge layout. Oh, those too. But look at the trusses. Look at that. Look at these buildings. Wow. Look at a replica of Union Station. The entire setup is made of wooden trees, along with all the replica buildings, making this a very unique setup. This says Glacier Park. The other one says Union Station. What's cooler is it has a caboose. We don't have those anymore. Check this out. Another Union Station. It has all been put together using USA Trains, which is a manufacturer that specializes in G-scale model trains. USA Trains started out as Charles Rowe Manufacturing Company. I was looking at this. Railroad crossing. The, the woodwork is looking It's nice. just it's amazing. It's yeah. Fantastic. It's all shellacked, like it's because it's going to be, you know, protected against the weather. Yeah. But I like what they did with all the little pieces of wood. Yeah. You know? Yeah, they made the tracks down, made the leaving. That's awesome. It actually is, the tracks are inlaid into the wood. That's very cool. But you got high bridges. Yeah. Look at that. That is so cool. Look at the little. <laughs> Check that out. Voltage, low voltage train. Check that out. Oh, what a great view right there. Wait, we're not there. It's one of the trains that's going that way. 
Wow, it's, I mean, this is a huge, look at this one up here. Dairyman's League. USA Trains is a family-run business started by father and son Charles Rowe, senior and junior. Just a boy and his toys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See that? All the way through the trees. Running around the forest. Yeah. To get a perspective of what a cost is of a layout of this size, if you wanted to buy a USA train, one engine, one car, and one caboose, and five feet of track costs eight hundred and ninety-six dollars. This is the right on train. And it's not running in the morning. And you must be that tall to ride, which looks about what two and a half feet? Look at how big it is. Look how cool. This entire setup is enormous, so I can't even imagine what the cost was. I'm so glad when people do this. Just like the one that's over at the LA Fairgrounds. Yeah, yeah. You know, the yeah. Garden Railroad, this is the same thing, but now we have one a little bit more local. The house. Oh, look at it. It says, take me on a road trip. I think that's what we're doing, right? These are actual train stations in America. That's what that... Oh. They're, they're look at the water all the, tower. All the way around, it's all different train stations in All America. different union stations. Like, because see, there's, there's a couple that say the same thing. Like, look at this one. USA Trains has a three-story, 50,000 square foot building in Malden, Massachusetts. They've been in that location since 1989. That was the train station in Lahaina, huh? Sugar Cane Train. Oh yeah, it says Lahaina right there. Good eye, good eye. What does this one say? I can't say what that says. Oh, San Diego. What's San Diego? It's pretty cool. What does this one say? Kids and adults of all ages love these trains, and it's fantastic to see. I love these tunnels. These tunnels are awesome. Tunnels through the trees. Different views. It's all over. Over there. Let's see. Let me see. I know. I had grandkids who right to enjoy to bring it. Oh, yeah, I thought my son was like. Come down, go down. I don't know for the tag and the tag.
Yeah, right through nature. The new model train garden set. This is a train station, but it looks more like a hotel. There it goes. Train just left the station. Controls. Controls and repairs. It all insulated too in here. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And naturally, Christina took advantage of the horticulturist and asked a ton of questions about all of the new plants all around the garden area. They had to use really special plants so they don't overgrow the trains. That's the coolest idea for a dead branch. <laughs> it is. Yeah. And after this, we're going to take a little walk around the gardens. Now we'll explore the flowers. Check that out. Actually, there's still some stuff in bloom in the middle. Yeah. Descanso Gardens is a 150 acre or 61 hectares, botanical garden located in La Cañada, Flint Ridge. The gardens feature a wide area, mostly forested, with artificial streams, ponds, and lawns. I think this is Calancho. Or it's a... Uh, daisies, sunflowers, so lavender. Chrysanthemums. See a lot of bumblebees. See them right there. Circle on the top. Even though we spent the entire day enjoying the railroad and gardens, we will mainly show the garden railroad and the rose garden in this adventure. I like is that this place is so big. You just find a branch bench, sit down. You can bring your water bottle, no outside food. I'm not a horticulturist, but I try. <laughs> a maple leaf. We're going to a rose garden. We're headed that way. See all these nice little benches you have to sit underneath the shade of a tree or in the sun if you'd, you'd prefer. Some sit right next to the to the stream. He's walking a lot faster than me. I'm just taking in the scenery. Lovely spot of roses. See, look at that. Vibrant vibrant colors just amazing how about a rose a rose for your nose <laughs> just really like these arbors with these roses going over it i think randy like it, likes them too Are these roses? look at those yeah they're roses they're just different kind of roses Usually it has a sign on them. This is a rose that goes. <laughs> I love this. Oh, I thought he was waving at me. He was shooing away the bugs. I'm shooing bees. I'm shooing bees. You think I'm waving? I'm shooing bees. Because this is really an awesome. It almost looks like in the family of the kangaroo paw. Coretta Scott King Rose. That's beautiful. 
Well, even in this heat, there's still stuff growing. Yeah, and this leads right to the water fountain. And I'm telling you, these right here, those are artichokes. I don't know what family of the artichoke, because they could they're definitely not, maybe they're green glow. So awesome. Randy, are you feeling squirrely? Looks like he's got some nuts. Pretty large ones. <laughs> okay, large one. You see him? There he goes. Oh, right over by Randy's head. This is our trip at Descanso Gardens. Welcome to Descanso Gardens. You got a humble abode? <laughs> yeah, but it's very cool. A giant butterfly. That's a crazy, huge spider plant. Yeah, since we're in the garden, we should show a lot of flowers. That's lavender. That's lavender, I guess. That's what she says. She's chasing butterflies. They're bright orange and yellow. They're so cool. Redwoods in the middle of the city. I always love seeing that. Big redwoods. I think I found a wild animal in the trees. Ah! What a view. Oh, California redwoods. And we're in the redwood forest. You're wild, right? Yeah, screaming kids. <laughs> in the spring of 1994, Descanso Gardens installed the Enchanted Railroad. Before we leave the gardens at the end of the day, we had to make sure that we ride the railroad at least once. Enchanted Railroad is a train with a small diesel engine that takes guests around a portion of the gardens for five dollars per ride.
sandwiches. You can find them. I got you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yep. Woo -woo! If you enjoyed our vlog, please subscribe. And ring that notification bell. And give us a like. It lets us know you care. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye.